All right, so we got a service call. Uh, got a Linux unit that's not cooling. Um, so far, it sounds like it's not running. Nothing's running. Let's open this up. It's my controller right here. All right, so let's see what we got here. What's that alarm? 122. Scroll down. Alarm value. 14 254 24 volts primary so it says that we don't have 24 volts the voltage is low we got two transformers up here um, let's just check them out all right so i'm gonna just start off with this bottom transformer this is a 480 volt unit and it steps down to 24 volts at this transformer so um Let's see what we got 26 volts coming out of this one all right so we're only getting 14 volts out of this one we need to check our incoming voltage make sure we have all the proper voltage coming in at each um leg all right so our fuse is going to be located right here behind this panel let's just go ahead and get this open all right so that's my fuses all right, so I'm just checking out this fuse here. This fuse here is open. Um, I have my meter on continuity. So um, we got a blown fuse. That's why we don't have the proper 24 volts. Something is shorting out this fuse. Let's just check through the circuits and see what we find. All right, so I just owned out this compressor. Everything checked out fine. Also checked out these, wire, these um, wires heading back. And um, these checked out also just check the next right, so I just check this compressor for continuity to ground um, checking for shorts also check the windings to make sure that they're reading the same um, all three terminals should be within the same right, range so here's my blower contactor also here's my incoming voltage coming in from the city as you can see that yellow goes up right up to there comes around and that's here and if you trace it back, it has split into two wires. One going to my blower contactor, and also one going to my compressor contactor. And um, if I look up here at the blower one, it also feeds something else. Um, not sure what it is right now, but uh, I have to look in the schematic, dig a little bit um, into it. You know, that something, whatever's on that load could be shortened out this wire so I'm just basically kind of eyeballing without looking at the schematic right now it's old school troubleshooting even though I'm young alright so just checking continuity um that's going to the fan to the blower motor so far I'm not picking up anything so um let's just go up to the top 37.5 so we're picking up something so I just took these wires out of the phase and um as we check now look at that zero not getting anything go to the next leg zero next leg zero so something's going on and that um what is that the distribution like far condenser fan all right so here's our voltage supply that's going to our condenser fans right here to, at this harness just gonna go ahead and take this harness apart I need to check it going that way and then check it going out to the motor and then also you know check the motor if I don't see the issue before I get there all right so what I did was since I'm holding the phone I put my other lead right here underneath that screw and I'm using the other lead right here to um, you know check for continuity and uh, as you can see we're picking up some resistance to ground um, 267 so um, our issue is going that way I did check these wires going back the other way there's no issue all right so I just climbed up on top of the unit I'm um, just looking for any burnt marks anything um, those plugs look pretty good look how fast that one is spinning compared to this one this one might be our problem um, look at those wires down there um, those connectors look pretty charred some discoloration and uh, like I said look how that one's free spinning 
and this one just stopped in the middle of thin air. This one here is going to be our problem with blowing out. Got my view. It's a pretty cool view. I don't know if you can see this, but look at this connector. Definitely charred. So look at the other one. See, look. Had some melting going on. Also, you can see the motor. Look like it's been overheating. Starting to rot. The metal starting to, you know, the paint is starting to chip and rust. It's been heating up for some time. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and get this motor ordered. And, um, I'll go from there. Let's get this baby started. All right, so now I'm going to reconnect everything. And then I'm going to replace the fuse. And uh, we're going to start this up. Let's go ahead and um, get this back together. Make sure you put it in the right way. It may trip if you reverse it, but it shouldn't. If you look at it, you only can put it one way. So, all right, so put my compressor plugs back. We'll go ahead and put this one back. And everything's intact up there. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and I'll replace that center fuse and see what happens. All right, so everything's connected. I just put that fuse in. Um, this is 480 volts, so I'm gonna kind of just like stand back a little bit and uh, I'm gonna flip this on All right, I didn't see no smoke come out of the fuse or anything like that Uh-oh uh -oh, came on Look at that Belt spinning in the correct rotation. That little adjustable sheath back there sounds nasty. This is a brand new unit. I just replaced one over there not too long ago on my other video. And they both was installed at the same time. And I already hear that this one is on its way out. So I'm going to order that and a new motor. Check our condenser fans. The compressor's running. Let's grab my ladder. Let's check our fans. All right, so that other fan is running. I'm probably gonna put some up here, like a cardboard, something to come back. So new motor and a new adjustable pulley. And um, check the pressures out, stuff like that before I get out of here. Let me just go ahead and button this stuff up. All right, so I went and found me a cardboard box inside. And I um, just put this on for temporary uh, so we can remove some heat. Uh, basically, without me doing this, we'll be losing airflow. We won't be pulling uh, the proper amount of air through the coil. Uh, we're still not going to be pulling the proper amount, but this is better than what it would be. Um, this unit can kind of trip out on high head pressure, you know, depending on how hot it get outside or these coils are dirty or anything like that. All right, so we're at 120 on second stage. Um, this unit does have some refrigerant in it. I'm not going through checking the superheat, but um, just want to make sure everything is going to be cooling until we come out. Uh, you can also hear that adjustable pulley. I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but... Um, I can hear it. I got that on order along with a new motor. And uh, well, we had about 120, 130. Uh, so that looks pretty good. I kind of use this for refrigeration a lot of times. Check it self-contained. This is not a 410A gauge, but this unit is 410A. Um, I like keeping this one in my tube bag um, because we have, you know, it goes increments of tubes. Um, two, four, wait, no increments of one. So one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to 10. So I like the ones that goes in increments and warms when I'm checking like my sucking pressure, uh, when I'm working on refrigeration cases. 